So, students in an international setting are blessed with extraordinary opportunities, but they also face unique challenges which require specific support, like coping with regular transitions and loss as they or their friends move on, forming relationships in a transient world, and dealing with cultural differences on a daily basis. In a diverse and multicultural environment, that support will look different for each student. And if you couple that with the challenges facing all students today, such as the changing nature and level of stress, um, an increasingly uncertain and competitive job market where employers are looking for interpersonal skills and qualities as much as academic achievement, and the dual lives that most of our students are managing, both in the physical world and online. So how can we make sure we're meeting the needs of each individual and not alienating them with a broad spectrum but possibly a relevant programme? So all this points to the fact that a robust and flexible personal and social education programme is essential if international schools want to support students to achieve their potential and develop the resilience they need. Personal and social education is essential to potential and is the collective responsibility of every one of us who's working with young people today. In this session, we'll firstly consider the individual needs of your own schools and try to address the key points within the current structure that can be enhanced to improve your provision of personal and social education. We'll try to figure out how it can be made a priority without adding to your substantial existing workloads. We'll look at strategies to upskill and support you and your colleagues. And finally, and perhaps most importantly of all, we will identify the best ways to help the students you teach develop the personal and social skills that they need. Thank you.